City planners are now going to be developing a long-term plan to fix the roads. We are on West Davis Street at North Vernon Avenue, which is being rebuilt, and the city wants to prevent the roads from needing this much work in the first place. Right now, the city of Dallas spends about $52 million each year out of its general fund to maintain its roads. That doesn't include potholes or road projects paid for by bonds. Making improvements to our roadways. But city planners told council members today to keep roads from growing any worse, the city would have to spend an additional $212 million each year. Now the city has to figure out where it's going to come up with that kind of money for roads. We have to work smart and hard to uh, figure out better ways that we could get to the desired goal. It may be a little bit longer time. You know, it may not be a 10-year plan. It may be a 20-year plan, 30-year plan. Nearly a quarter of the city's streets are in poor or failing shape, earning a D or E grade. The rest are a C, a fair grade, or higher. The streets are graded based on the condition of their pavement. It's degrading at a very slow rate right now, but it's still degrading. So my, my goal is to stop that first. In other words, keep the A, B, and C roads from getting to become D and E. Absolutely. At the same time, he says he wants to turn the D and E streets into A, B, or C grades. Council member Kara Mendelson says she and her colleagues want to see the city's proposed solutions. Very concerning, and um, obviously they heard from us that we need a plan to be able to maintain our roads, and we're not doing that now. The assistant city manager who oversees this tells me he's going to be developing a very comprehensive plan and hopes to present it to the city council within the next six to nine months. In Dallas, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.